Hi guys, Going Green Mom here. Um, I just wanted to bring you along for the ride on this Foodie Friday experiment. I am trying to save a family favorite. This is Chuck Wagon Chow, um, a dish that I grew up on, my kids have grown up on. I don't think my mom grew up on it, but my grandma does cook it. She substitutes kidney beans for the chili beans. Do drain them if you do the kidney beans. And she also throws in celery and onion and then lightly seasons with like the chili powder and stuff. Um, as well as the garlic. Um, so this is something that is obviously not low histamine because I am using the canned goods and I thawed out the meat beforehand. My kids are not a huge fan of the ground beef in the Instapot when it's cooked from frozen. I don't really notice a difference, but I have noticed that it is taking longer. I'm having a few issues with the seals on the Instapot. Um, so it is taking longer to actually cook it from frozen. So it was just easier in this case to, to have it thawed. Anywho, neither here nor there. If you need to cook it from frozen, feel free to do so. You can do that in the Instapot. Uh, probably takes about 35 minutes. And you obviously wouldn't be browning it in the Instapot beforehand. If you're cooking it from frozen, just throw the stuff in. Um, but the goal here was to figure out if I could, in fact, kill off the lectins enough to not have mast cell reactions to some of these things by using the Instapot. Um, this is definitely an Instapot win. I have eaten it two meals in two days and have not had any reactions to it. And of course it is kidney beans, which is the highest amount of lectins in the beans. Um, and then of course there would also be lectins in the corn as well. So I did not have any reactions either day to this. I don't normally put pepper in this. I don't know why I did this time. <laughs> Didn't taste it. So, I mean, you know, it was literally a couple cranks of pepper. Um, but anywho... This, and also, if you're cooking and you have cabinets right above your Instapot, when you release this valve, it will spit and spew steam up above it, which is why here in a bit you are going to see me put a towel over top. So just be aware that if you're in an RV and you don't want the moisture in the air, or you don't want to have that but it does take it a little bit longer when you do a quick release to actually get all of the pressure out this way so overall this is a definite instapot win next week i am planning on doing my go-to low histamine meal for foodie friday um so you guys can see what i do when i need to kind of fall back to a safe food have a great day. I'll see you guys later.